Hello everyone, this is Andy of the Law Variety here and I'm opening up this particular Tales of Outdoor City with a content warning because, well, it kind of needs one. For all that Kath and I were really looking forward to doing this particular stream and we enjoyed ourselves immensely, and for all we discussed it at length before we went, it still contains material that some people might find difficult. So that being the case, let's be quite clear. CONTENT WARNING! Awooga! Birdie's Tales of Outdoor City contains content that some may find disturbing or upsetting. It includes scenes of slavery, abuse, casual violence, and much worse. If this makes you feel uncomfortable, please consider skipping this episode. For all we found it an enormous amount of fun, it may not suit you. That being the case, be careful. If you wish, watch it through, and if you reach anything you think you're unsure about, then just stop. That's okay too. Alternatively, if you want, and you really need to know what happened in it, just pop over to the Discord community and ask. There'll be people who'll be more than happy to come along and explain everything for you. I'll pop a link to the Discord community inside the comments for this particular video so if you want click in there go through and if you're unsure whether it's for you or not just ask and everyone will explain exactly what the contents are once they've watched it themselves other than that for everyone else i hope you enjoy this particular stream as i said kath and i have been waiting for this one for a very long time and we enjoyed it immensely here we go Hello, hello, and welcome to Tales from Outdoor City, Birdie. And I'm really looking forward to this one. <laughs> I've actually been looking forward to this individual stream for about, I don't know, six months? I'd at say least. six months at least. at least. Why? Well, you're about to find out. This is... Well, we had a bit of a discussion before about how each of the characters have all got their own little stories going on, and to a degree, some of them are playing slightly different games to each other. Alamenowith, for example, is playing a very elven game, and it is in a very different realm to everybody else. It's also very teenage. Um, you're about to find out what sort of game Birdie is playing. I'm really looking forward to this one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, you'll find out. Alrighty, so let us start on the evening when Leopold is taken. Everyone has retreated back to the barge. They're drinking. Joseph has more wine than anybody ever requires. <laughs> bottles and bottles of it stacked up in his hold at the back of the beer belly. He, however, has less of a beer belly and more of a wine belly. He does love his wine. And he generally starts drinking in the early evening and will keep on going until he passes out. And this seems to be not a bad place for everyone else to do the same. As the drinks flow for the evening, what's Birdie's general tack going to be? To drink as little as possible, <laughs> but to make sure everybody else's cups are really well filled and top top. You are such a good hostess. I try. Indeed. I try. Sip, sip, sip. I've drunk all that. Oh, I need some more. Oh, so do you. So do you. Since I'm drinking more, everyone needs some more. Yes. Drink, drink again. Toss. <laughs> Toss. Well, everyone needs more. It's so handy having a big giant whale, a river, right beside you where you can just... Mm -hmm. Oopsie. <clears throat> People get drunk. Leopold's not here, and that's not the reason to get drunk. Um, it's, it's a little bit, because he did go in under, under not necessarily wonderful circumstances, and he didn't look entirely happy. Very much a, if I don't come back, never mind, here's all my money, I may never see you again. Bit of a buzzkill, yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone gets drunk, everyone passes out, and your heart is running 19 to the dozen. Thump, 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 thump. And the time between oh, midnight to one-ish, when most are retiring, 
to approximately one to two-ish when you're thinking of moving feels like 19 years. What's our plan? So, make sure everybody is out of the way and I'm somewhere where I can leave easily so I don't have to step over anybody. You've got no issue, everyone's got their own bunks in the cabins and Thanks. Joseph, has half of his barge is uh, outfitted for passengers because of the amount of uh, money that can be gathered from passengers. Um, you also just got a bit of a hint, a bit of a feeling that possibly it's also outfitted for smuggling somewhere. Just seems to be the case, particularly when he goes below decks and pulls up wine and there wasn't that many bottles down there, was there? Um, they must have come from somewhere. Uh, so you've got your own cabin um, mm. to sleep in uh, and given that you've already said that you'll work on the barge, it literally cost you nothing. Mm -hmm. It's Which like is good. marvellous. Good, because you've got no money. So... Okay. <laughs> this is something I need to resolve before I leave the barge. Right, because, so what's our plan? So, yeah, because where I'm going, I'm going to need at least a little bit of... Okay, <laughs> okay, where's she getting it? So, um, <laughs> who on the barge has the most cash? Ooh, that's probably Gerhardt. It, it is. Gerhardt bunked up with Lucas, yeah. um, the pair of them together. Lucas uh, went to bed early. Mm -hmm. um, he's not as inebriated as everyone else, but he's also not very well just now. Mm. Um, you've tended him more than once, and mm. he tends to sleep very deeply. Um, Gerhardt, by comparison, was merrily pissed. So I will, I will very quietly go into the cabin. Prepared to go. I was just checking on you because you were kind of drunk. Yep, makes if, sense. If anybody wakes up, hoping they don't, um, and then just have a little look around to see if I can spot a money pouch or something. Do you stop perception check? I think I'll use my first fortune point of the Excellent. evening with a ninety-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's burn through them. Have any corruption points come out throughout the course of all the other streams? Ah, well, I might have to take one because that's a 95. Ooh! <laughs> oh, Are you taking one? Uh, yes. Excellent. Yeah. And as I said on the last time that this happened, yeah. nothing. Now, normally when we do our mm. dark whispers, for those of you who don't know, we spin some sort of fun little side tale. Mm. Not here. Mm. Not here. You just take the corruption point. I take the corruption point. Perfect. Roll again. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see if you can do better than 95. And these are going in the garden if uh, it doesn't work. Three successes. Superb! Clearly the dark gods are... Move around. <laughs> and it doesn't require any particular skill. It just requires the will to do it. Are you willing to pilfer a little pouch? Of course. I thought you might be. I'm just borrowing it after How all. much? Uh, it's, it's quite full. Handful of silver. That's handful of silver probably do. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. So yeah. just grab yourself a small handful of silver there. You never know, you might be able to replace it later. Well, he owes me how many weeks for pay? Oh. For bodyguard in it? Yeah, quite. <laughs> um, he's given you nothing for any of that. Exactly. He, he intends his father to pay for that one. Although, no, you have never had a contract where no? <laughs> right from the very, very beginning... This Someone runs through else. my head, Lucas and then I take a couple dead. of extras. <laughs> <laughs> Danger money. Danger money! <laughs> Pop that in. Uh, yeah. Lucas rolls over. He's on the bottom bunk. Mm. Gerhard, of course, is on top. Of course. <laughs> As he rolls over, his hand um, flops out, and you can mm. see several heavy scars across mm. the back of it, um, and heavy scarring mm. around his wrists when he was manacled by the beastmen in the forest. Makes me... Makes me kind of rub my own yeah. wrist wrappings when I see that. Mm -hmm. Close to home. So I will now beat a very hasty retreat. Do some stealth test. Oh, God. <laughs> I am not built for stealth. I'm six foot seven. Yeah, I'll be in 97. Um, strangely enough, <laughs> even with 97, um, I have fumbled. Oh. So he, so drunk as he is, poor old Lucas, rolls over. Falls out of his bed and hurts himself, oh, but doesn't even wake up because he's so drunk. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> with a thump. Like, um, uh, 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 oh, sorry, master. <laughs> <laughs> Poor sorry. Lucas. You've got your cash. I've got my cash. What's your plan? I'm going to stash meat pie in my room. Excellent. And then I'm going to get the hell out of Dodge. Point, 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 point. Out across all the barges because mm. you've got to go all them, over yeah. all of them to get over to the jetty over towards the jetty. Are you intending just to walk in? I mean, it's a yeah. bit of a distance. I've got um, my legs. But I'm... yeah, quite. 
you've only got one major impediment and possibly the minor impediment of the city itself. Mm. Uh, the major impediment is that the Reichsport um, off by itself is separate from the city walls and you have mm. to cross through. But you don't know if those gates will be open at night. You don't know if they're permanently open, if there's tolls. Mm. You know, coming through this way earlier when you were in a cab was fine because cabs have got some sort of allowance to mm. pass through. You're not in a cab. No. And you know they're relatively expensive and you've only stolen so much money. I go back and get more. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Double danger money. <laughs> a whole lot. No. Um, I'll just have to deal with it. Sounds as, perfect. As I, as I Let's find out. Encounter it. Now, uh, do you have etiquette criminals? No. No. Because you I'm a fine, not. upstanding Do you have rat e catcher? etiquette uh, servants? Uh, no, I have uh, etiquette nobles. Nobles. You really don't look like a noble, so you're not pulling that one off. Right. <laughs> um, we're going to go for the old dice of doom as to uh, is there going to be any chance of anything going wrong while you're here. I'm going to roll one and you're going to roll one because the odds are slightly higher. It's going to be pure luck if you roll an eight. It's bad. If I roll an eight, it's bad. We both roll an eight. It's freaking awful. <laughs> Game over. I rolled a two. I rolled four. So we're good. Okay. It is eventless. <laughs> you see a couple of uh, dodgy drunkards moving along the docks, as you inevitably expect. Um, someone else calls you over for business, and you're like, give them the good old Sigmarite comment in their direction, <laughs> or up with Ulrich. Yeah, you know, well, at least a bit of laughter. Yeah, That's quite. <laughs> oh, no. um, laughter in general at that. They're drunk. They're out yeah. for fun. Nothing else. Uh, there's lots of um, bumps and pushes because it's relatively busy even at this ridiculous hour until eventually you arrive with a certain amount of trepidation mm. at the city gate over at the north e western part I almost said it wrong <laughs> northwestern um, walls of the city yeah. um, and fortunately there is one gate always left open to the Reichsport um, the Reichsport itself is well defended it's not like it's they're leaving the city open mm. um, but everyone is checked and there is a night toll Mm. Night <laughs> Um You want to pass through at night? It is a whole sixpence. I'm okay to pay that. Pay your sixpence. There we go. So the next one is getting to where you want to go to. Where do you want to go to? Well, I don't think I necessarily want to, but I, I want to go to the uh, Temple of Sigmar. Now, Altdorf is this kind of city where if you toss a stone, you'll probably hit two Temples of Sigmar. The big one. Grand the main cathedral, one. yeah, right in the centre of the city, the great humongous cathedral, the one that you can almost see from all over, depending on where you Which are. Is you're on the right, <laughs> wrong side of a hill just now. You're going to go up, and then you'll be able to see it over on one of the islands over there. Mm. Getting there might not be as easy as you'd think. You're not a local, and the streets here twist and they turn, and they're full mm. of dangers. And who knows what sort of awfulness you may encounter? We're going to do two things. One is ask a question. Mm. How are you going to get there? Are you going to ask for directions? Figure it out for yourself. Just keep on walking in that direction. What's your plan? And I'll do two right after. I think she'll try and figure it out for herself because she's quite memorable. And Excellent. she doesn't want people knowing she's So first this things way. first, navigation test. Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. Um Second one, Dice of Doom again. Okay. Give me a good old D10 roll, any eight. eight. Oh no. I'm not having any luck this evening. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to reach the ground with the people of No. <laughs> <clears throat> you have been meandering along the dock side for some time. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty convinced you have to be all the way over there. And that's the Imperial Palace up there. Huge, mm. jagged rock. The palace looming over everything. Yeah. But you're not sure if you've got bridges between over there and there because you've never done that. You don't mm. know if you need to go over that. Should you go over towards the palace? Should you go that way? You figure it's over there and the bridge is definitely down there. So moving in that direction, ah. But you're not allowed past this bit. This bit's blocked off. Mm. The uh, watch have blocked off entire sections because of unrest in the centre. You might never get to the car get there you haven't even considered that as you move around that and then get lost in a bunch of side streets okay as you're attempting to find some way to get somewhere uh we're now early hours of the morning even at this hour there's folk about mm -hmm. people Any... making about the streets small gangs of youths 
uh, playing out when they really probably shouldn't be <laughs> at this particular hour. Drunken students, several that you pass. Mm. Um, and it feels relatively safe from the many things that you've seen until, of course, someone decides you're an easy mark. Not after last time. <laughs> Lone woman, by herself, pretty, almost certainly doesn't know how to handle herself in a city like Altdorf. Um, as a Let's be kind and just simply call him a thug. Oh. Comes out. He's uh, sores down one side of his face and a cudgel. It's a whole cudgel. I look at his cudgel and I look at my cage pole and I look back at his cudgel. <clears throat> and he says, Get out of money! I want it now or I'll hit you proper! He's going to throw his mighty intimidate skill and scores minus four. You've still got a cool test to do. You might score minus five. You might fumble it. You might go, well, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Five successes. Yeah, yeah. You're, you are <laughs> as intimidated as I think you are. <laughs> what? <Whatever. laughs> yeah, quite. As he's holding it, almost like it's a foreign weapon. Come on, give us your money. Give me yours. Give, give it. Give me it. Give it or I'll hit you. One more chance. Hand it over. Are you wanting to intimidate him? Or what? are you actually wanting his coin? I want both. I want to intimidate him and have him hand over his coin. Well, I'm I'm here. Do your intimidate test in return. <laughs> oh, I've rolled two. Uh, Let me get a unit stand I'm gonna, I'm going to spend a fortune point for that one. <gasps> and I'm really glad I did because that's one success and a crit. Oh, it's a crit. Have you got a success roll again? I've got a crit roll again. Let's see how many successes you actually have. Uh, that's a hundred. So, so don't get any more. So yeah. it's just a one. Mm. Um, so you still won the actual mm. one. He's like, no, no, I, I'll go feed me son. He's ill. Don't take my money. He says, and he drops the cudgel. Wow. Hand it over. You got an intimidating I've got, you and he runs. I've got a pole arm. I'm sure I can <laughs> you hit him. Go, I'm going to try and try hit him as he leaves. <laughs> just for the sheer. Oh, don't, don't, you'll don't you'll never get me. You'll never get my money. It's for my son. <laughs> Who totally is real and one hundred percent exists. <laughs> uh, zero successes. Um, I have. Oh, I've dodged. Ah, he dodges away and he scarpers off through the uh, city, and he's out the way. Job done. <laughs> Dice of doom. Dice of doom. I want a three. Four. Yeah, absolutely nothing. So you're currently in the back streets of Altdor, thoroughly lost, no idea where you really are. It's early in the morning. You just want to get over to the cathedral. People keep on doing things like trying to rob you or block roads. How rude. What's her plan? This would never happen in Middenheim. Uh, is there I think a... it's even more complicated. <laughs> is there a temple? Yeah, but I know Middenheim. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there a temple of Sigma, a temple there of There will Ulrich, be soon. Or... Ulrich, no. But, or uh, a guard of some kind. Um, so uh, somewhere the, reputable. Yeah, the, um, like <coughs> Mittenheim, mm. uh, Altdorf has got its own professional mm. uh, s policing force yeah. to watch, and they do watch around most mm. places. Uh, you're currently down the back streets, which is not the normal mm. patrol route. So I'm just going to randomise whether we have any mm. uh, passing by. We definitely do not. That was as fumble as a fumble you know can get. <laughs> There's no guards for miles. If you died, no one would find out for nine years. Oh, yeah, okay. that's it. It's, it's never happening. Temple of Sigmar, though, is much, much mm. more likely. Within five minutes, you'll often catch at least one in Altdorf. Mm -hmm. And indeed, you do. Um, after a little bit of uh, meandering left and right, you see yet another one of their bell towers rising up mm. around their hammer-shaped buildings. Um, it's Temple of Sigmar, what's your plan? Knock on the door like a sensible person. It half opens Temple of Sigmar. It rarely mm. shuts when they're the small ones. Mm. The bigger ones often shut because there's valuables to be stolen, but the small ones, there's rarely anything worth stealing. Plus, mm. really? You're going to steal from the Temple of Sigmar? Well, you would. Well, yeah. But <laughs> they don't know that. But, but, yeah, quite. I look like butter would <laughs> melt. Um, as uh, you go through, there's no sign of any clergy mm. or laymen or any others kicking mm. around. Uh, there's four candles burning at the far end, um, and that's it. Um, just actual candles, just, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a, it's, it'd be on chair, 
unfair to call it sacristy. This is really more of a, a very small statue that's mm. raised at the far end. It's barely, it's not an altar, it's mm. barely a shrine at the far end, which is, you presume, supposed to be Sigmar. Yeah. Um, he has at least got his arm up as he's holding his hammer. Um, in a pose that would be more effective as Thor than it would be as Sigmar, um, he's sitting there. But that's really if it looked human. It's crudely fashioned. It's dark, no obvious signs of clergy. What's her plan? I will, I will call out. Hello, is there anybody here? Your name echo. Sorry, the words echo slightly <laughs> across. Echo again. And then you hear a, who is it? He says, no, you can't you come back. You, your father ain't doing confession right now. I'm just looking for some directions. I'll be out your hair. Yes. Oh, uh, make a donation. Okay, I will. Throw. And his hand sticks out <laughs> from behind the um, wall of the claw section of um, the temple. You need to go over. I'll drop a shilling. Oh, a shilling. Oh, thanks. Yeah, what do you want? I'm suddenly <laughs> alert, suddenly <laughs> excited. Didn't expect a whole shilling. Thanks, Gerhard. Um, <laughs> I will point out that I'm trying to get to the High Temple of Sigmar and I need to get there by the most direct route. I'm trying to meet with a friend. You want to go to... Uh, it's going to be tough. There's knights all over the place there. Well, I've They're not... protecting the, the Grand Cathedral from all, all the riots and stuff. We've been told we're supposed to stay away. I'll take there for two shillings. Well, you've already got one. Mm, that is a good point on an aggle roll. Why don't you do your aggle and let's see where this lands? <laughs> Given how I'm rolling, that seems oh, very unlikely. Oh, wow, I rolled you this. Um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, one success. Minus four successes, you win by five. Um, as he goes, all right, give me just the one and I'll take you. Okay, I, I give him another. You're going to have to pay the toll, though. How much is the toll? Oh. Well, if we if we take the long way around, um, the toll will only be, what, this hour? Uh, six pence? Nine pence. Nine pence. Because <laughs> I'll need to get back. So I'll need the money to get back on the toll. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, let's right, do that. Let's go. He proceeds to chatter amiably about <laughs> everything. Literally everything he has ever heard, ever. <laughs> and he doesn't shut up. He just doesn't. Just he just so keeps nice. on going, yeah, and then, and then, and then, what do you think about the emperor? That whole thing, mutants. Oh, wow, well, soldiers everywhere. Soldiers in the streets. Did you hear about the running riots? They were going back. Did you hear about the charge? They charged all the way down the Imperial Mile at full speed, but they got sent back. Can you believe it? Knights charged peasants, and the peasants won. Good for them. Unexpected. Birdie has Beyond been... Beyond yeah. unexpected. Birdie has been travelling with a Gerhardt for quite a while. <laughs> so she has perfected the art of, mm-hmm, uh-huh, really, uh-huh, whilst in her head she's going, la, 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 <coughs> la, Well, then, making I won't lists, see anything whatever. else, because you won't hear it. Oh. Oh. She'll say on that, because oh. he's obviously very <laughs> taken with it. Pardon? Well, the problem is, because I'm new to the Warhammer world, I don't know what's shocking and what isn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty shocking. Okay. Knights, you know, getting held back by peasants. I mean, that's shocking in any world. I suppose. <laughs> They're on a giant horses, covered in armour, huge lances, and apparently were sent packing by peasants from depends, Altdorf. Depends how many peasants there were. Yeah, even then you just gallop right through them. Uh, you might lose a knight, maybe two, even then. Who would attack a knight? You'd have to be insane. Um, uh, so yeah, he, uh, he gabbers on about inconsequentialities as you sing away in your head. Mm -hmm. Eventually you reach a bridge, he goes across, the toll is indeed mm -hmm. sixpence. Okay. So, I'll hand over. If you, if you put the full shilling, take three pence back, um, that'll pay for the toll back as well. Okay. Um, and uh, that'll be him sorted. Okay. As um, you make your way over the bridge and through a bunch of winding streets, past one two, three, four temples of Sigmar before eventually you write, find yourself in the big white open temple plaza before mm -hmm. the Grand Cathedral, which is an impressive building. One of the most impressive in the empire. It is grand, as befits its name. It doesn't have a silver flame though. Mm. Uh, no, no, mm. no, no, it doesn't. Mm. It, it really doesn't. Mm. Um, and unlike most other temples, it is not hammer shaped. Mm. You can see its edges going around. It appears to be circular, at least from this angle. Um, and it is enormous with a tower rising right up above it. And it's um, from this tower that all the bell towers uh, 
across the city ring from. So as it rings eight, they all ring eight. They're already listening, causing a clapping bell across the city whenever the hour tolls. Mm. It takes a full 20 seconds before that occurs because you arrive at four o'clock in the morning. Boom, mm. boom. You hear the bell going and then across the city, one, two, three, four. But it just turns into this almost cascade of noise. Wow, they have a lot of bells. Mm. There was one thing I meant to do back at the barge. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I've just realised. Uh -huh. um, I was going to divest myself of all my weaponry. Oh, uh, yeah, you were. No, I think that's. I don't think that's an unfair request. Although she is exceedingly nervous. I don't like doing it. Yeah, uh, and it, I, mean, I mean, she's exceedingly nervous. Old habits sometimes override good sense. Um, I think she's probably got them with her because she's got her pole and she's already used it. Well, no, I would have yeah. brought the pole because that's easily replaced. Because it's just you know, wallop, yeah. yeah. But the rest. Mm -hmm. I'll let you, because I feel it's arbitrary for me to make a decision on it. Um, let's instead do a cool test. Okay. And if she passes the cool test, she's got the wherewithal to override her natural instincts. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you've got some weapons I'm, on you. I am bristling with weaponry, <laughs> as usual. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, and it's right at this point you realise, oh, dear I've made a mistake kid is like sorry right, right lovely seeing you one minute you uh, come here what I'm going to give you some stuff to hold for me right <laughs> I'm going to come find you it would better all be in one place but there's another silver in it for you when I collect them and what do you want me to hold she starts Pulling out blades, daggers, putting them down, unwrapping her braids, pulling out knives, the whole work. There's a little pile by the time she's finished. The only thing that she retains is the garrote wire that's holding uh, her plait. She'll hang on to that for now. I think that's fair. And a cage pole, because, you know, she, Quite. she loses that no biggie. Um, I'm going to carry that. Yeah, um, she'll... Um, She's wearing several layers of jumpers over her yeah. and stuff. She'll wrap them in, in a couple of them. They're all threadbare anyway. So yeah, pull one of these cuts. threadbare jumpers off. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and, and wrap them all wrap up. Wrap it all up in that. Yeah. What's right. the name of your temple? Right. Um, um, charm test. I'm going to set fire to all my dice. <laughs> I'm going to use another fortune point for that yes, one. Yes, we're burning through them. Seriously. Um, one success. Oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. I got a bit of advice for you. Just you know, just advice. And you know, if you're ever asking someone to look after your stuff, it's generally worthwhile making sure that whatever you're offering is some sort of, you know, tie for it or whatever is is at least a percentage of the stuff that you're you're giving them. Because if not, it's very easy to sell them and get an awful lot more. Even at how much you know, do you value your skin? I mean, quite a lot. Yeah, I'll peel you if you're. Yeah, I'll start at the bottom and I'll peel my way up. I can buy another knife and it doesn't take very much. I'll take the silver. <laughs> says, I think that's better. Yeah. So I'll... Intimidate test. <clears throat> I think he might be intimidated. Yeah, four successes. No, yeah, yeah. He's intimidated. Uh, yeah, all right, fair enough. Um, yeah, you, you just, just you give me a, I'll, 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 it'll be back at the temple. And which temple is it? Because there's a lot uh, of it. Uh, it's Blessed Alberts. Be Blessed Alberts. Blessed Alberts. Thank you. It's on the edge of university still. You have been very kind, and I will mention to Father Leopold how brilliant you've been. Who? He's my Sigmarite priest friend. He's blessed. Right. What, like, what, like Albert? Yeah. Right. Maybe you could come round and bless me. Yeah, we could arrange that. I'm sure he'd be up for that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm going to be a priest one day, you know. I think you'll make a good one. No, that's not what I'm told. <laughs> Don't listen to them. <clears throat> right, right, all right. I'll keep all your pokey things. Thank you. The plats itself, at least at first sight, is largely empty, but... In truth, it's not. Over at the far side, there's a host of knights, um, but they're over in the darkness by the uh, mm. line of trees here and a line of trees there, and they're all mm. tucked over there. You can hear the wicker of the 
the horses before you actually see them. Um, and what you initially thought might be like five or six of them turns out to be, as you turn around the corner there, almost 50. Okay. And they are dressed for war. And they must be frightfully uncomfortable. I'm probably cold, just hanging around. Presumably they're um, ensuring that any of the difficulties that are occurring further up towards the palace never damage anything down here. Mm. Um, you also spot at least three hornmen. Clearly they're ready to sound some form of alarm should anything go mm. wrong. But it's still largely empty. This is a huge platz. Mm -hmm. You presume that this fills up with life and worshippers and all sorts. There's none out presumably again this place gets cleared so that uh, those who would want to just worship constantly mm. or whip themselves or whatever it is that these fanatical types want to do uh, aren't going to be doing it where nobles may be passing through in the morning to attend temple for example mm. they have been moved along what's your plan so there's is there Anyone that isn't a knight about this place, or am I going to stand um, out like a sore thumb? Yeah, yeah, pretty much are. At this hour, we're at, yeah. we're at four o'clock in the morning in a place that should be empty, where most of the guards are further away than here. Mm. The uh, temple itself is guarded by its own temple guard that are knights, and yeah. then there's this big, big pile of knights mm. um, and all their horses. Milling would be the best word for it. They're not really guarding anything, yeah. but there's no one here. But they've been stationed here, and they're kind of bored and waiting. They're the worst kind, yeah. <laughs> given how Birdie looks. Although you are aware, mm. well, it probably doesn't help, but given that uh, they are not Ulrican knights, that helps. It's quite likely they're noble. That doesn't help. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Damn if it. anything, Raise it possibly, and then... possibly makes it worse yeah. because yeah. they might be entitled to things you have no desire for mm. them to be entitled to. So you might want to, I don't know, beat a long path around those. Yeah, yeah. I'm go I'm going to take a long way for a shortcut and and to try. What's and... her ultimate intent? So she needs to get to the wall of the temple. The wall of the temple. And and leave a mark. All the way around the back of it, for example. You can do that with ease. Now yeah, the temple itself yeah. stands almost by mm. itself, but you're going to be able to find somewhere where no one can see you. Yeah. Shouldn't be too difficult. Mm. But it is a long way around. I'm going to see if anyone's that interested in you. They don't appear to be. Good. You have a good wander around. The temple is open. People are allowed to attend it anyway. Mm. Um, all the way around. No one's about and you're making a mark. Mm. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Yeah. Now what's the plan? Kill some time. Better that than something else. Yeah. Yeah, unless I've got money. But yeah, basically keep a low profile. So is she intending on watching to see if anyone comes by said Mark or is she just going to disappear? Um, is she going to find herself in a room that she can just hide in? It's probably going to be difficult to get a room just now. So if she can, if she can conceal herself so she can see if anybody comes by and spots said, at least she'll know the, the message has it been It takes received. a good half hour for her to mm. see the first um, patrol of watchmen pass mm. by. And you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. You hope it doesn't happen. You know what's going to happen. And it happens. As um, they come up and say, Lorry now, Lorry now, here, miss. Fair enough. I'll move on. And the other one goes, Oh, it was easy. Yeah. Not looking for any trouble. You should go get yourself into one of the mercy houses. Don't just lie around in the streets. Not here. Tip my hat. Mercy house. You could sit in one. Yeah. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Where's mm -hmm. the closest one? Yeah. Wanna ask? Yeah. 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 I'm new here. Where is the nearest one? Well, Mercy Ass. Yeah. Well, there ain't one here. No one's meant to be in. I mean, you're not even supposed to be in here at the moment. We're, we're, we're sort of in a bit of a trouble, you know? No I one heard. stopped you or. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the I just yet. wandered in here by accident. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Um. Which way do you think? It's, don't want by these stand over the bridge. Oh, uh, yeah, on Volkers. Right, so, oh. Uh, right ahead. Left. Right ahead. Bridge. And to your left, you'll notice it for the doves. Okay. they got doves all over the wall. They take people in all sorts of hours. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. 
It's from my rat catching. You never know when you're going to finish. Yeah, I saw your pole. <laughs> I thought you might have been trapped on the other side of the, uh, you know, the, the line. Well, it's not been exactly easy getting across the city today. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not surprised. You must have your hands full. No, oh, no, we're all right. Midnight patrol down by Temple. Says, pretty easy normally. Nice. Says, yeah, it's not too bad at all. You married? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not looking. But thanks for, thanks for the... Uh... The other one goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tips his cap. Evening. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to find this mercy <laughs> But given... <laughs> Navigate test! Okay. No, I'm lost again. <laughs> 89. Right, right, right oh. left, left, right. Right, left, right, ahead, left, bridge, doves. You found yourself staring at an <laughs> incredibly ornate building. It has layers. Okay. Layers going up and it's painted blue and red on the outside. At the top, there's a frieze of knights on one side and the other side, a pile of... Let's say bad guys. You're not sure what they are. Then some of them look like they might be human. Some of them don't. It's old enough that the weather has begun to wear it away. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that it's someone that the knights are killing. But the knights seem to be in fine shape, as in whatever coin they had, they've decided to touch up that side. Screw the bad guy side. <laughs> we want the knights to look impressive. Okay. Uh, the bottom floor itself has a large classical. Mm -hmm. Speak classical? No. A lot of letters there. Um, <laughs> arch over the top of it. There are definitely letters. Many letters you recognise because you can read and write. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they mm. don't make words that you really know. Um, they're definitely words, but not words you know. Mm. It's an impressive building and it sits at the end and there are two knights guarding it. Huh. Mm. Dressed in uh, blue and yellow with a simple patch here. Knights, you're not sure if that's entirely correct. You've seen these knights before. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit surprised to see them here. Knights Panther. Oh. Um, and now you're close. Got Lord Middenheim? No. No. I'm going to give you nothing more than that. Now you're close. I'm happy to say they've probably I got knights. I have more heraldry, though. That's the handy. They're Knights Panther. Okay. <laughs> At least I'm sure of that. <laughs> yeah, well done. Um, <laughs> uh, but now you're closer. You're not so sure they're knights. They might just be men at arms. Okay. Um, as in those employed by the knights to protect their yeah. buildings. Uh, a little bit surprised to see them here, though, because you mm -hmm. thought they were a Midnight, midnight thing. Mm -hmm. But apparently they're down here as well. Okay. Um, Panther. Knights Panther. That does say Pantera. Huh. Ah. Ah, you're a classical whiz. Ah, up yours, Gerhardt. <laughs> classical whiz. As um, one of them um, oh. sees you and says... Oh, you move along. So in a place for the... Uh, oh, you're writing? Yeah. He says, a bit light, you'd be looking for business. I'm just coming from a job. Took longer than I Not thought. got enough money to get over the toll. No. He I'm says, looking for a mercy house. I can speak to Gav. That'd be good. Maybe there's some writing you could do. Aye. All right. I know he's having the trouble. I'll ask at least. Appreciate it. You go in. I do realise the only reason you did that is because you're pretty. <laughs> Just hoping you'd stare around, you know. I can think of worse things. Is that how you get your business? Who needs a pole? You need a pole for that sort of business, though. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs along and try, uh, tries he's to... He's clearly a card. Oh, um, yes. Quite the shining <laughs> wit. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. As uh, the door opens about five minutes later of some of the most impressive banter you've ever heard as um he comes out and says yeah gov's still awake he's always awake at this hour he's sipping brandy he says he'll talk to you oh okay i don't usually talk to the governor when it's wow. monster rats you're not entirely sure how you got here but here you are uh, <laughs> as you're making your way into some sort of chapter house <laughs> With time to kill going, okay, I've got a pole. Got literally nothing to kill rats with except for my pole. Uh, and my expertise. <clears throat> Me know-how. Yeah. And my street smarts, obviously. Uh, I'm the woman who gets lost a lot. A gentleman <laughs> is sitting in an office. 
at the end of a long corridor would panel down its entire length with every single panel boasting some of the most impressive woodwork you've ever seen. It's tiny little pieces like mosaics put together to display a variety of impressive feats, all of which are surrounded by that language, what you don't know. <laughs> Frightfully impressive stuff. This one here is a big burning sun in it. This one here has got what looks like a giant cat. This one's got a winged creature, which is being pierced through by, oh, they're all very impressive folks. Yes. Of that, there's no doubt at all. Ah. And they're clearly very <laughs> full of themselves. And you immediately, just passing through this place, note that there are signs of rats. You spot, mm. you spot the spoor. Also, the scratchings down at the bottom. Mm. So if the spur's out and they've got a cleaner, that means there's been rats out this evening. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. Well, that's a lot of rats. It's, it does suggest there's probably quite a few. Okay. I mean, you could maybe make a pretty penny here if you had weapons. I'm sure the kitchen has knives. <sighs> Bound to. Yeah. And at the end of that, a chap is I'm sitting all wrapped up in a heavy... It's not quite a blanket, but it's close. Huge moustache, a little leather cap on, holding his hair down, and tufts of grey hair stick out of either side. One eye has a mighty scratch across it, and it's half blind on one side, and you can see the other side has a permanent red mark in it. Mm. This side here, gouged out almost entirely. Oh gosh. You can see the folds of the cut. Mm. He has been attacked by something rather nasty at some point. A little bit close. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as he leans to one side as you come in, this is what I didn't expect a woman. Nobody ever does. He looks up at you, you're majestic. Why, thank you. He says, you're majestic. You just found her out, you're sure she's not a whore? She's got a pole, he says. I'm a rat catcher. A majestic rat catcher. How are you going to get down into the rat holes looking like that? You'd be amazed. I'm very nimble. Is she a whore? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, No! <laughs> Go on, Did she nip? Uh, what business are you in? Is it really rat catching? Aye. I'm a rat catcher out of Middenheim. You're not an assassin or something. I don't think I care today. I'm it, quite <laughs> drunk. Apparently, we've got a rat problem anyway. You come by. We've already caught the guild. Are you a gilder? Strictly speaking, yes, but you're not a gilder in Aldorf and you know that. Yeah. Just make sure it's clear. You know that taking on business is mm, not the dumb thing. Doesn't mean that you won't, but it's not the dumb thing. I'm not too worried about guild rules in that respect. I've got a roof over my head. I've got something to kill some time. You know, well, they might not take so friendly to that. Well, I won't tell them if you don't. Are you any good? Really good. You know, if my cock hadn't been cut off, I'd be all over you. What a waste. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> it is. I've, but, she's heard worse, yeah, to be fair. But <laughs> it, it, it was. Bloody bird did it as well. Who would have thought? A bird? It was a bird. Must have been an a... actual bird. Had a wingspan twice this room. No. Swooping down when we were down by the Grey Mountains. He doesn't stop for nine hours. That's and fine. by the time you're done, you are so drunk. <laughs> he is so drunk. You have seen that, in fact, he doesn't have a penis. He's <laughs> actually showing me. Bless his heart. <laughs> You've showed him some of your scars. He's seen some of yours. <laughs> He loves you. He thinks you're marvellous. The best entertainment he has had for about the last, as he puts it, five. Everyone's gone. They're all bloody gone. They're all up, up on the hill, leaving me down here and bored. So fucking bored. He eventually passes out in his chair. <laughs> you are really in a very, very rich surrounding. And it's interesting now with him mm. having passed out to just have a look around. Mm. The painting on that wall, you don't have any appreciation of art, but what you can say for certain is that that is impressive. It's Middenheim. Oh. You recognise it. Yeah. The high swoop of the walls, the towering buildings stacked on the top, wolves in the distance depicted amongst the trees. Um, and standing before pang. it... <clears throat> 
standing like so with a big cavalry hammer is it might be him difficult to tell if it is he's a lot younger it might be mm. a relative but standing there his shield has the knight's has the panther symbol and a great crown across the top of it mm. yeah you notice that none of their ones here seem to have crowns across the top but where you mm. come from they all have crowns over the top hmm mm. hmm and just seeing that reminds it mm. of it as being a thing mm. Mm. fascinating over there is his copious amounts of alcohol <laughs> he's got it in a cabinet a whole cabinet for his alcohol <gasps> His large this is living. <laughs> yeah, it is. His large <laughs> desk. Topped with leather. It has its own ink wells, which have little lids on top to make sure the ink doesn't dry. Quills. Seven of them in a nice long line. Panther pelts up against oh, the wall. Mm. A mirror. Not frightfully impressive mirror, but nevertheless, a mirror mm -hmm. over on the other side, all broken and spackled at the edges. Mm. Around the edges is yet more of that language, what you don't know. As is, as you look behind the door itself, classical writing all the way up around the edge of the door and all the way back down again. Yet all of that pales into ins insignificance behind what's up there. You didn't even notice it when you were talking because it's dark. Mm -hmm. And you're in the dark, he's only got two candles. But now you're sitting there half insensible looking up. Wow. Carving. All of it. In wood. They seem to love their wood here. Mm -hmm. And the classical is again all carved. It's it's not engraved. It's out, mm -hmm. not in. So, mm -hmm. boss like that. So much words and the pictures in between. All carved. Freezes just of extreme. Ordinary skill. Something to tell Gerhardt. Yeah. You certainly missed that one. Oh, poor Gerhardt. I'll tell him all about squiggles. Yeah, yeah, all the squiggle lines. Yeah. And, and the nice picture. You move, perhaps even with mm. the intent of moving, and realise just how drunk you are. <laughs> What's her plan? I'm Pass in, out, wake up later. I'm, yeah, I'm in two minds. Um, Part of me says I should probably go to the cellars and at least pretend to be looking for rats. The other mm. part of me says... Well, he I, didn't actually hire you. No, so maybe <laughs> maybe I could just nod off in a chair too. Pretend we both passed out. At least I'll be comfy. Um, <clears throat> and they can wake me up as you are, they You are like indeed <laughs> woken up. A big fellow with a big moustache, leather mm. hat on that curls up. Mm. Oh, sorry, girl. Big beard sitting down. Who the bloody hell are you? What are you doing in here with Master? Well, they brought me in here to chat to him about your rat problem. And he didn't stop talking and he kept giving me wine. And then we were really drunk and then we both fell asleep. Uh, I'm happy to sleep my hook. <laughs> you stolen anything? No. You can pat me down if you want. Yeah, best. Mm -hmm. He doesn't take liberties. He pats you down. Mm -hmm. More fool him. <laughs> right. <He doesn't. clears throat> All right. Fair enough. This way. Cheers. He just passed out, did he? After talking for me, to me for nine hours. Mm, he's in a lot of pain. Apparently so. Nice yeah. chap, though. No, he's all right. <clears throat> he's all right. <clears throat> Trust me, you don't want to see him piss. You already have. <laughs> he, he drunkenly and somewhat excitedly showed you. Yeah, I, I had a demonstration. It was um, oh, noteworthy. Look painful. Yeah. It's the blood. Hmm. Needs to find a healer. And you come out to the blazing sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's the afternoon. Uh, yeah. The place is milling with people. Oh wow. Whoa, 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 you didn't expect that. Pilgrims, a whole, there's like 40 of them in a row, singing low notes <clears throat> to themselves. Oh, over the, oh, of course, there's a fight. <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah. Oh, and here comes a watchman, inevitably. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's waiting. 
Now he's stopping them. <laughs> Waited till somebody got a dig in, apparently. The rest of his little patrol come over as well. There's a dressing down they're talking to. The uh, two guards on the outside, completely different guards to the ones that you mm. saw before, um, uh, immediately move to attention as um, he comes out and says, well, uh, there's your hook. Go sling it. Says, Much obliged. Lovely meeting you. You too. Says, uh... If you ever need a talk, I'm sure he wouldn't mind uh, an eager. I mean, if you're willing to put up with him pissing, you're his sort of girl. <laughs> Last one he scared off. Oh, seems all right to me. I've seen worse. Mm. At least he's kept his hands to he himself. He takes out five shillings. Oh, wow. It. Thank you very much. Well, that's Rich people. Yeah. He you. says, actually, let's make it worth your while. He says, the old man's a... Uh, do come back again. Drops another three shillings. He says, next time we'll make it gold. Okay. But no harm, no foul. It, it's nice enough. Two. Two in morning. Come knocking. He says, ask for the sergeant with the black eye. You'll be lit in. Okay. He don't take too many. He's got quite the temper. Seems all right to me. <laughs> You're easy on the eye. Thanks. So that Imagine that's what got you through with no problems at all. <laughs> now go on, Hook, slung. <laughs> Look after yourself. You too. That's what I said, hate. Are you really a rat catcher? Really a rat catcher, yeah. Really? Really. Well, where's all your equipment? I've stashed most of it. I was heading home. Right. Well, we'll pull the other one. Go on, Hook, slung. <clears throat> hey, if you uh, don't believe me, talk to the Stonecutters Guild in Midden Alley. Ask him I about do the that all the time. Well, there you go. All the time. Yeah. Ask them about the six foot rats. Oh, well. You're that handy with a sword, are you? You'd be amazed. Show us. <laughs> so so she, she gives a quick demonstration. To Do more. yourself a melee basic test. Oh, <laughs> are you impressive or are you just all mouth? Seven success. Seven, you are impressive. Yeah. Um. As he looks on, all right, who employs you? Are you a spy? He says, as he pushes his sword um, back down, assuming you give it back to him. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, well, now you're more of a conundrum. What are you doing around the old nice Pantera? So here's the thing. I was genuinely looking for somewhere to sleep last night. I got horribly lost, asked for directions. And these guys said you had a rat problem. So I didn't come looking for you guys. And I'm in town because I'm passing through because I'm also working as a bodyguard for somebody. But I like to keep my hand in. So. <laughs> sure, we can't make it intimidate. She's much better at that. No, you didn't go for the intimidate. You went for the look at me, nice person. No. Nope. Uh, how many fails? Uh, Maybe you got plus 20. Two. Two, yeah. Figured as much. <laughs> yeah, pull the other one. He says, hmm, well, no harm, eh? Well, you know, you get mutants in tunnels, you need to know how to drive them off. <laughs> I find it hard to believe you've ever been down a tunnel. I find it hard to believe you've ever been down underground in your life. <laughs> Go yeah. on, fuck off, piss off. Enough of that one. If she comes back at the wrong hour, send her off. Hook, slung, bang. <laughs> are you passing back to the temple? Um, or are you going to hang around elsewhere? I guess I've still got time to kill. You do, um, uh, but it's possible that whoever is looking for the mark might just arrive and wait. It, it would, I'll swing by. Because yeah. I, can, I can blend in. You can with blend in, and yeah. the crowds, uh, it's fair yeah. to say they're thronging. Yeah. This is quite some distance them. away mm. from where the uh, riots are taking place, but not that far. It's about half a mile, and it's half a mile up the road and around a bit, mm. and you can see the smoke in the distance. And if you stop over the hubbub, you can hear the distance. They're still at it up there. Wow. Smoke with it. There is something definitely going on up there. I'm glad we're leaving town. Yeah, <clears throat> quite. Um, there is a Bit of surprise. If you just look across this square, there's now approximately 300 knights here. And it's obviously a ridiculous show of strength. No one is going to cross this. It's a deterrent. But yeah. why aren't they doing anything to stop this? Oh. 
Maybe it suits their purpose. Maybe it does. Got lore politics. Nope. Definitely is a thing. <laughs> You make your way through the crowds. Do yourself a perception test, please. Oh, God. Needless to say, I have squirreled all my cash away in various different places <laughs> this time. <laughs> to make sure it doesn't get pickpocketed. Um, I rolled an 88. So I, I think I'm going to fortune point that. <laughs> the eight sides of chaos are called. We're going to have to commission ourselves from dice with a chaos symbol in the eight. We really are. Yeah, we really um, are. We're going to have to make that a thing. That's a 95. So. That's still pretty poor. You yeah. see nothing. Yeah. You haven't lost all your coins. Don't worry. That's not what you're looking for. Mm, uh, damn it. The afternoon mm. wends on. Flagellants, street preachers, people trying to sell relics of all kinds. <laughs> if indeed there were that many St. Bones to mm. sell, then... I mean, how many people have they dug up? <laughs> and why have they all? Got, why have they all got them? Um, down Echtstrasse is, if anything, even worse. It's basically one enormous wending street that is just full of relic sellers, mm -hmm. pilgrimage pieces of all kinds. Because people come come across from all parts mm -hmm. of the empire just to come to this cathedral. And you damn right there's someone there to fleece them for it. Whether it's someone over there giving an effigy of the temple, someone over there selling a comet, someone over there selling a hammer, someone over there selling an imperial cross, you want it, you can buy it. And there are more prayer parchments available than you can possibly stake a stick at. Mm. They're supposed to be sealed into place with wax. Someone's sitting there with hot bits of wax, <laughs> sealing it onto mm. shirts, sealing it onto hats, sealing it onto waist, anything that can be sealed on, <laughs> popping it on. And they're relatively cheap. Mm. Tuppence generally is enough to get yourself a small prayer parchment. You can get yourself a really big one with an entire prayer on it. Wow. Now, I'm sure the father would love that. You could buy that for just a shilling. I think he's probably got his own. I mean, he doesn't wear them. You can wear it yourself. Spiffy. Not my cup of tea. No, no. Not where I'm going. How about a wolf's tail? Someone selling Ulrican Ul 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 artifacts right there. Oh, a little small U uh, brooch-lit. Brooch-lit? <laughs> a brooch-lit. A tiny brooch. It's a tiny little tiny brooch. Tiny little brooch-lit. Brooch. Brooch. <laughs> um, brooch. Yeah, brooch -lit. That's going to have to get its own little yeah. vocabulary <laughs> point. Write that down and make me do brooch-lit. Yeah. Um, so, a tiny little brooch-lit. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, screw it. It's a brooch-lit. Yeah. Tiny little brooch-lit. Um, with a little bar sitting behind the U. Um, mm. Looks really rather nicely made. Mm. Uh, made for someone without necessarily taste. They're not real gems, but they do sparkle nicely. And it's only sixpence. No, we're okay. Only sixpence. So we're pretty. Like, Imagine it there on you. Yeah, but where I'm, where I'm headed, they might not take kindly to it. <sighs> you're right. Got to keep things correct. And it's not mm. like you're going to have to have anywhere to secrete that. Nope. <sighs> the afternoon wends away. You buy some street food. In total, you've probably spent around about five pence. It's not very much. It gets late, and you have to avoid getting moved along mm. as the temple district starts to get emptied out. Bells are rung. Priests lay down, and they start singing at the sixth bell. Many others come round, and they gather, and they mm. sing along as well. You don't know the songs, but it makes quite the sight. A dirge of lamentation is done as they discuss, as they uh, speak at length about great heroes of Sigmar who have fallen in the past. And with that done, that part of the town falls asleep. Mm -hmm. Except for the priests, the labor, in fact, the functionaries of that temple, of which there are many. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep out of everyone's line of sight, but there's quite a lot of side streets off to the niche, back of it. Yeah, yeah. And Sit down there, do ways. yourself a stealth test. Oh, God. You really are testing me this evening. Totally am. Got to use those no. fortune points up. <clears throat> Not fortunate, I imagine. No. You get moved on by the watch again. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> it's almost exactly the same conversation as before, a completely different person. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and they give you a completely different set of directions <laughs> to the same direction. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not entirely convinced that will lead anywhere. So off in that direction and hopefully in a big loop to come back to see if the right hour. And I trust you're going to be coming back at around about what? Second bell? Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't want to. So we'll two do. things. First, dice of doom. Are we going to get into trouble? Probably. Fate itself will decide. Five. Excellent. I've got an eight. No, I don't. <laughs> no, we're fine. I've got four. I uh, totally was. Uh, you meander, move out, see some dodgy folks, dodge the dodgy yeah. folks, see some nice priests, go around the nice priests, uh, keep on walking from one place to the next, try and make it look like you're going somewhere, begin to get kind of tired, but you have to keep on walking anywhere. She's super fit. She's all right. Yeah. Walking around in circles, constantly trying to make yourself look like you're knowing where you're going and uh, you don't, a navigation test. Oh, God. I mean, it's hard to get lost here, but not impossible. <laughs> One success. That's enough. As you eventually make your way back to the temple. And much like you, someone else finds it difficult to not be there. To not be seen. Mm -hmm. Because there's no one out at this point. Everybody's been cleared out of the area. They're not supposed to be here except for folks that live Mm -hmm. here. And it's at two in the morning. Yeah. But there's a beggar. Punched down in a corner. Mm -hmm. Hunch right into the recess in the lee of where the road is so hopefully any patrols will march right by and not see them you're not quite yeah. sure what sort of beggar you've got but that's almost certainly who you're here to see they're within line of sight of where the mark is mm-hmm. you going over yeah casual like casual like casual like <laughs> <laughs> really carefully you make your way up as um, an eye opens and a voice says, sorry, uh, I, I don't need nothing. You sure? Yeah, I don't need nothing. You should move along. Scratches that scraggly beard. One eye is almost entirely gone, you think. Possibly is gone. Can't quite see the way it's screwed. Mm-hmm. The other eye is bloodshot. Yeah, you should move along. Quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. He says, go on. You got a message for me? Who are you? Well, don't make me throttle slice you. If you've got a message for me, let me know. I'm here to see a what bird. Might that be me then? Are you the what bird? Yeah. And she kind of... You? She undoes her coat so her hair's really obvious. And it comes... Because she's unbound Mm. it, it comes down to her knees. It's never never been cut. So... Warm. You? They call me White Mane. Right, all right. White Mane. All right. I left that mark. Right, right, you are. All right, you come with me. He slopes off, he's hunched right down. See, looks around a corner and almost crawls along the wall. Uh, Are you sure? Sure, sure. Right. Pauses, watch goes by, scuttles across the road, goes down a sideway, pauses, waits, some more people go by, scatters across the road, waits for you, goes down some more alleyways. This goes on for quite some time, until eventually, quite some distance along the edge of the Talbic side of the river, he eventually reaches what appears to be his quarry when he goes up to a door scratches on it with his fingernails from the inside you hear yeah who is it he says for me I've got the white one with me the bird he says right his little shutter goes open what the fuck he says she says it's her oh we're fucked no chance I'm just doing my fucking job Fuck. Opens it up. Man in his 30s. <laughs> you think. Could be 40s. Could <clears throat> be 20s. Who knows? <laughs> He's dirty. Spots all down this side of his face. Says, Right, you don't look like you're the sort. He says, But if you're the sort, you come in, all right? In, in, in. Looks out either side, closes the door. It's a dingy little hole. And there's a big hole in the corner of this dingy hole of a room um, and he goes over and scuttles through it this way and down on all fours goes through a rather low tunnel oh here we go again 
Down in all fours. It's when being six foot seven's not ideal. It really is not <laughs> ideal. Down you go. Make your way along the rather filthy little uh, oh. corridor. Yet more dirt for your lack of fingernails. Oh. As you pull yourself um, along, he pulls up the other side. Um, and he uh, shrieks in Queekish. Mm-hmm. Human here. The accent is terrible. It's almost in terms of the guttural nature of his pronunciation of the Queekish. And you hear from the other side in Queekish, Yes, yes! Bring him in! I'll say to him in Queekish, Your accent's appalling. You really need to work on that. Yeah. He scuttles off. <clears throat> Door opens. A pair of spectacles. <laughs> Actual spectacles on this Skaven's face. The rat man is sitting behind what looks like a small desk, all curled up, mm. and there's scrawls all over different rune shapes all over some skins and he's using his claw to mark it as he looks over looks at you looks up at you takes his clearly stolen them from a human at some point okay and adjusts them looks up at you and says who what 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 who they call me white mane i'm here to see the gray seer i have a report to make Scrape, 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 scrape. I'll take the hint. And then in <laughs> Reichspiel, it calls out, mm. Door! 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 On the other side, when it shuts. <laughs> no talk! No talk! No talk! It says in Reichspiel. I shrug. I don't say anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait. Looks at you. Looks unsure. Looks at the, and then it goes back. Keep my eyes lowered and make myself inoffensive. You're dropping down? Reducing height? Uh, well, I'll, I'll sort of, if there's somewhere to sit or, or I'll, I'll sort of squat. Other than squatting down squat against the inside yeah. of you. Keep myself low. And then eventually he reaches out and he pulls hard on a rope. <laughs> Looks at you. Like you are possibly the most awful thing that he's ever seen. Looks at you through the lenses, which makes his eyes look ridiculous, <laughs> particularly because they don't actually sit to either side of where his eyes are. <laughs> as he moves it around, <laughs> he puts it back in his nose, where it clearly does very little, and then and then rocks slightly. I'll tr- I'll try not to make eye contact. I don't want to upset him. You hear them you long before you see them. Mm. You smell them not long after you hear them. Ah, oh, the smell of home. Ah. They're confident. Mm-hmm. Their stench is strong. They have nothing to fear. Yes. No musk here. You're fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, I'm not at all freaking out inwardly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Mm. coming up the tunnel. God. And it's a mass of flesh Mm -hmm. and spiky armour and weapon as they all come up. And as a a group, almost like a many-headed creature, Mm -hmm. comes to a halt and surprise at this. (laughs) And they look at each other, unsure, and squeak at each other in queakish, clearly expecting that no one can understand them. What are they saying? They are saying... What is this? Between the pair of them, it's like, squeak, 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 squeak. Then this one up here, squeak, squeak, squeak. This is not what they expected. As one of them goes, Where's the grey square? Where's the grey square? Where's the grey square? And the other one goes, Take it! Take it! Take it! And they all just come scrambling forward and start dragging you. I let them take me. This is, this is not un, unexpected. You get half carry dragged. That half carry That's... drag gets turned into shackle drag. For a good 20 minutes worth of tunnel winding, eventually they let you walk by your own recognizance, largely because they realize you can. Mm. That 
reeks them out. They get all the more defensive and they start parting away from you. This is not what they expect. Try and keep as, as small as I can while still walking, not making eye contact, <clears throat> just behaving. The tunnel is not much larger than this. Yeah. And they're not the smallest creatures themselves, but they navigate it with oh. ease, as do you. Yeah. This, after all, is where you grew up. Yeah. Down through the tunnels you go until you open up into a chamber. The chamber glows a very faint green. Oh, a nice. mixture of bioluminescence coming from the half rotten mushroom fungus layers on this side. And on that side, the warpstone charm drilled directly into the eye of what is almost certainly a skaven of some type here. He's not wearing any identifying clan markers. You have no idea from which. And just sitting by himself, brave. Uh, Odd. Gonna, Where's the guards? I'm going to assume he's either it's very a trick. powerful or... It's a trick. Yeah. You know it's a trick. And you can't help but look around expecting guards to jump out at any moment. Mm. <clears throat> Down low, I trust. Oh, yes. <laughs> as they come in as a group, <laughs> huddling. Mm -hmm. And one of them says, Fam! Grey squids! Grey squids! And one there looks over and goes, Yes! 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 This is the one! This is the one we want! Brings it to us! Yes! Ah! Ah! <laughs> we will! We will reign supreme with the Great Seer! The Great Seer will bring us to its side! Yes, yes! Bring it now! It strips it! Strips it! Strips it! <laughs> they all panically strips it. To be expected. It is indeed. So much for that set of rags. <laughs> they are little more use than handkerchiefs now. <laughs> <laughs> tear, 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 tear. Yep, you definitely would not have kept that symbol of Ulrich. It would have been gone. Exactly. <sighs> Reminds you of being young. Mm -hmm. Your hair's longer. It's going to get in the way. That's a pain. Mm. It's going to drag through the mud. I, I can tie it into a knot. I've yeah. done that before. Several knots actually. I'm, it looks down. Stops it! Stops it! Might be weapon. Um, as claws all over the place. <laughs> Seek find, seek find, seek find, seek find. Nothing, nothing, no, no weapon. Seek find weapons! You're quite convinced there's weapons. It takes him almost 10 minutes of searching and searching and searching and searching. And boy, do they search. No weapons. Funny that. <laughs> Suddenly it's panicked. He's panicked. You know almost all about Romeo. He's panicked. Couldn't find the weapon. So where is it? Can he present the beweaponed white thing to the Greaseer? Convinced you have a weapon. <clears throat> and it's panicking. It's freaking the fuck out as it's looking at you. The other statement are all down. backing off. They don't know what to do. The one with the warpstone charm in his eye goes, yes, maybe she kills him. <laughs> we looked, seeked, found nothing. Take her, take her, take her. I take her, I take her. Grab her, I take her. <laughs> Hops out from his chair, yes. And pops down and melting behind him come a host of armoured skaven almost from nowhere <laughs> one of them came out from the ceiling crawls across the mm -hmm. top of the ceiling a little drops down um pulls a weapon from along its length it's part of its armor and just shucks it out um and that pricks at you from behind oh, comfy how very dare they <laughs> indeed um <laughs> as uh, that one comes in two three four five six and these are big ones each one of them if they stood tall would be at least seven foot muscular mm -hmm. hard you find yourself probably with some sort of warlord clan mm -hmm. maybe but these are big these are probably storm vermin these are the big ones yeah. and yeah let's not get messed with those but their armor is terrible it's 
really shoddy. So a debased clan. So maybe we're looking at a clan that's looking to try and... Improve its... Yeah. yeah. And this could be everything they're looking for, although... <laughs> Well, he's gone from flipping to he's going to be absolutely wonderful at the side of the Gracier to possibly assassinating him. It's not the first time I've been traded. It won't be the last. Yeah, quite. Down through some tunnels, shuffling, and then out onto a walkway. And below, well, it's your first sight of Under Altdorf. At least a part of it. <laughs> a yeah. very small part of it. Obviously, you can't count the teeming thousands. The stench is beyond acceptable. There are as many humans down there as there are Skaven. Toiling away, some of them just acting as servants, some of them working hard, edifices of various types being pulled up. Lightning crashing across what appears to be the sky to another great bulk, causing green flashing lights going from side to side. Mm. That's impressive. Must admit, pretty impressive. Yeah. A lot of your time in Al <laughs> under Middenheim mm. was very tight. Not very big chambers there. Yeah. Um, very tight. There are some bigger chambers, but th this is actually enormous. It's enough to rubberneck. Although you know you shouldn't. You've got to keep down. Well, I'm but, used to. Yeah, observing. but still, <laughs> looking out over that, there yeah. under Aldorf is bigger. You don't know how big under. Middenheim is. You only went to the places that you were taken or where you were sent to or where you had mm. to represent or when you had yeah. things to do. Mm. But but this. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not hard. Mind you, being young, you used to count death. Mm. That one's dead. That one over there's dead. Yeah. That one's been killed. They'll all go for food. Well, it is not. a ruthless society. But broadly, if you know your place and you don't do the wrong thing, you might last a while. Most of the Skaven don't last more than a few years. They're short-lived, except for the powerful ones. Mm. <laughs> As I know. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cross the walkway, in through a small corridor, and then down past a brooding hall. Always fun. Enormous brooding Skaven. Mm. Baby Skaven attached to all of their nipples down mm. their front. And they are huge. That one over there. You can't help but think that possibly they've been using warp stone in that one. <gasps> because it's big. It's really big. It's like 50 of you at least. That one's never leaving the chamber. <laughs> All it does is birth litters. Litters and litters of Skaven. And you know that within months they'll be full-blown warriors, mm. capable of killing with ease. They'll be speaking Queekish as if they were born to it. They're fast, super fast, sharp, intelligent. One of the things that you learned quick was that they grow quick, and they are sharp. But they're also really, really stupid because they haven't had enough experience in life. Mm -hmm. So it is so easy for them to do something stupid it's so easy to convince them to do something foolish. Just stab that one. Hey! And, and they do, and then they get killed in turn. How to get rid of a problem? You remember, you're old master. They're very much of the opinion that the quickest way to resolve a problem is to kill it. Yeah. Or keep it alive. Keep it alive for later use. Use. You're unlikely to ever see that one again. Yeah. <clears throat> Down another long corridor, past an effigy of the Horned Rat. It's constructed out of largely the detritus of everything that they've not used, but it's clearly supposed to be the Horned Rat. It towers. It's very large, almost 100 yards in height, almost entire length, and it's mm. more of a pile than it is really anything that resembles a rat. It definitely mm -hmm. doesn't have arms, but it does have horns that are attached to the ceiling, the ceiling, the top of the cave system, <laughs> with uh, chains that hang down. It has green glowing eyes and an open green glowing mouth and big, huge, real looking teeth from at least at the distance. That must be huge. It shades slightly. <laughs> It is not particularly well put up. Okay. It looks like it might collapse at any moment. A bunch of Skaven are working around at the bottom. Some of them are down 
and beside it there's an enormous plinth and around it furs just attached to it oh. nailed in place in some places and other places chained and wrapped in place uh you presume some sort of who knows how they do it in under Altdorf? is that petitions to the horned rat is that new laws who knows <laughs> but it's definitely something i have not missed this down past a rat ogre 12 foot tall of muscle and fury it passes by. Don't make <laughs> Keep down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Skaven slaves. Uh, a troop of at least a thousand of them. A mixture of uh, goblins, mostly humans, Skaven. All wrapped up together. A lot more humans here than there is in under mm. Middenheim. Under Middenheim, not many. There's some. Mm. I mean, there, there are quite a number. Yeah. Uh, they've got breeding stock that have been oh. down there as part of breeding stock for hundreds of years, but mm. not, this, not scale. this scale. There is a lot. But then outdoors so big. Yeah. How easy is it to just spirit someone away, never to be seen again? Sounds, lost children. Sounds familiar. Lost to this. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't wish that on anyone. <clears throat> for the millionth time, Birdie counts her <clears throat> blessings, such as they are. The one at the front. Wait <laughs> back. Hits at the slaves, back, and pulls out a blade. Just starts hacking at them, and then you hear a crack of a whip. Stop! <laughs> Mine! <laughs> <laughs> gently away from the confrontation. As is often the case between two disputing Skaven, there's a lot of posturing, but very little actual action. They tend to be a little bit too afraid they might die. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the ranking ones because they've survived the worst. Mm. They've got this far. Uh, okay, no one's dead. The slaves move on. He moves past. My nerves are in tatters at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose isn't a much better place. It's so acidic. It's so yeah. acrid. It's so awful. And, and it just keeps changing. Oh, new awful. Yeah. Oh, new awfulness. Oh. I miss my old nose blindness. <laughs> Your feet are bleeding by now. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of little blades and broken bits and stuff that's in the mulch of shit and awfulness that they crawl upon at all times. Oh you didn't realise how soft your feet had got. Boots. I need to talk to Elric about it. Yeah. <laughs> if I survive this. Yeah. The... Yeah. Birdie ducks down. Mm hmm makes her way eventually to the back of this particular part of under Altdorf into another tunnel set two straight backed storm vermin in red lacquered armour great crests upon their heads long white noses pink snouts at the end standing firm albinos Mm. Rare. Yeah. The red eyes. They stand firm and see him coming forward. <laughs> <laughs> and bows deeply as the one at the looks over. What's this? Hi. Hey. I am illustrious, he says. I am quick, illustrious, very, very illustrious. Worm slave, what's this? White bird, white bird, it's a white bird, it's a white bird. He calls. Bring me to, bring me to him, I have the white bird. Pointing at you. Up, stand! Up! I will unfold, but keep my eyes down. Try not to make con eye contact. Looks at you. Turns to the other one. This is my bird. The other one looks over. Human. No marking. Hmm. Thin. Thin human white. Hmm. Yes, yes. 
Yes. Sanquo will be pleased. Yes. Mine. No. Mine. Mine. As he pulls up. Mine. Mine. And he leaps forward, doing something that you see Skaven rarely do. Taking the initiative immediately to go for kill. Noted. Huh. That is unusual. It is. Mm. The one that's getting attacked is shocked, backs <laughs> off. It's almost like protocol has been somehow <laughs> broken. Um, yanks out a sword and stabs oh. wildly forward. Oh, God. <laughs> I will fold myself away. <laughs> the halberd rises and strikes down hard into its throat. Slices up. Splash of blood as it plucks into the eye and takes out the warpstone token. Warpstone! Warp token! Mine! Mine! Yes! Um, as the storm vermin that were supposed to be guarding him, the weak, poor versions of these <laughs> muscular specimens, um, met. Yes, yes! We serve the Gracia! We serve! As they back away, Leaving you no guards anymore. Come quick, come quick, come! I will. As the other one says, mine, mine! Ours, yes, ours. We band together. Sharing, that's what it. <laughs> as the um, <laughs> goes, yes, yes, we guard. Okay. Weapon for forward, forward! Okay. And you're led up. Your previous escorts are out of there. Reasonable. You reach the top of this particular rise, and another two storm vermin are there. You presume they're storm vermin. They certainly look like storm vermin. One of them has an eye patch, the other one has three arms. So he looks down and says, Great Seeker, no, mine, no, mine, I will be at his side, he says, no, quick death you will find. <laughs> the other one says, <clears throat> Stole here, stole it, stole it. No, me no, stole it. And backs away from him. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> Such assholes to one <laughs> As um, <clears throat> the big one goes in Reichspiel, you here, now, here, here, now, pointing at the ground. I. And then in Queekish. We run. <laughs> down in all fours, scarpers along down the corridor as the other one bows. Yes, a faithful servant, faithful servant. He backs off. Run, flee. Yeah. And the ones that were so impressive before suddenly don't look so impressive anymore. <laughs> so I will fold myself into a very practiced bow, knees. Grabs you by the hand. face and lifts you up. Looks to either side. News. News speak. Tell. Thank all's ears. I don't think our master would be very happy if I gave you the information he asked for specifically. Yes, yes. He's not a very forgiving person. Stop making eye contact. <laughs> Two subcool tests. Critical. Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a fortune point on that one. <laughs> uh, zero successes. Zero. Better than a fail. Yeah. Um, as you're quick to crumple down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, quite. Old habits die hard. As he, yeah, looms <laughs> over you. And you can see his claws twitching I by a short sword. As I'm 
to the side, the other one says, Yes, yes, kill it, kill it. He looks over. No! No, no! Come! And the other one uh, almost lifts itself up. Hi, God! <laughs> As you pass yet another layer between you and wherever it is you're eventually going to arrive at. On the inside of this one, there is um, a table with a bunch of skaven gathered around eating bits of meat. Sitting down and almost... I don't know, like the old gambling pictures of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I pictured. <laughs> Quite. Um, uh, as they're playing literal cards, warp tokens pressed out between them. Yes, yes. <laughs> Five warp tokens. Six, six. And the other one goes... No, no, you lie, you lie! Seven, seven! As it goes around the table, as they bicker about the individual amounts of money that they're going to be playing. What tokens that they're going to be using? Yeah, yeah. There's quite a lot there. These Skaven must be relatively influential. Perhaps they're slave masters, perhaps they're mm. rich, who can say, but they're certainly on the route towards wherever it is you're going as the large one goes in and they all stop. <laughs> Yes, yes, faithfully serve, serve, says one. And the other one goes, yes, yes, faithful, faithful to the master. Slaves, slaves. <clears throat> Give us favour, says one. He just looks, <coughs> moves forward. Whew. It's been so long since you've been down in this place. And this is all foreign to you. Completely yeah. different. None of these Skaven are reacting the way that yours did, although it's all too familiar. Yeah, well, I don't have the same reputation here. Quite. <clears throat> and you arrive at a door, and it's surprisingly mundane. After everything else you've seen, it's just a wooden door with a little knocker on it. And there's a small part of you that can't help but just look at the almost ridiculousness of it. Oh, uh, it's slightly more interesting. It's clearly been stolen from somewhere because it's got a bit of worn out classical on it. Someone's lifted a door, carted it down here and slapped <laughs> it into place. Frightfully civilized. Um, as he comes up and he <coughs> knocks on it with his claw and then pulls himself back up to his full height. A very small skaven wearing rags comes out, manacles around his ankles and wrists and goes, Yes, yes. Um, as the big one goes, eh, eh, I come, I come. He goes, yes, 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 this way, this way. As the poor little Skeven slave makes his way along. Just trying frantically to figure out what the hierarchy is here, because I need to know who to... <laughs> to go down to. Well, your heart was previously going 19 to the dozen. It's now far over 50. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, we've moved into a different realm. Or it's someone else. A big black furred skaven is on the inside of this room. With it, about 14, 15, no, 13, of course it's 13 attendants. <laughs> 13 attendants, all of which are armed. And he's pretty big. Hunched over at the shoulder, I'm taller than you there as well. Mm. A large crest across that as well. And a big pile of runes down one side of his chest. You know that's one of the Warlock clans. You know that's one of the Warlock clans. You're not sure which one of the Warlock clans it is, but he's almost certainly someone that's relatively high up in that Warlock clan. He's got a retinue. He's probably here to say the Greece here too. Mm. Or whether he's been summoned or something else, you're not too sure. Pacing. Yeah. 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 Sees you. Yeah. Curls up its uh, teeth. <sighs> and then says to the Skeevers, say, Keep it distant far from me. 
Tugs at you. Tugs at you and pulls you away. <laughs> um, over on the other side, there's just a hollow, and a skaven slave sticks its head out and says, The master, the master will see the white bird. It's not going to go down well. <laughs> No, no, no! I will see the seer! I have been promised by the council that I, I will see the seer! I am more important than I, I! He screams. Not unexpected. The slave cowers. The other slave cowers. Storm vermin that comes in cowers. <laughs> All of his folks. Yes, 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 yes. Looking at him. Yes, yes. <laughs> And as it peaks, takes in a deep breath, and about to unleash again, a single voice says, No. Familiar ah, voice? Ah, as the black one goes, ah, 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 ah. The voice emanates from the cover, the mm -hmm. corridor, pardon me. White bed, now. <laughs> Looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> As you make your way up the corridor. I, I try and make my body convey apology without making any eye contact. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> you slink your way up. You gotta get down on all fours to get through some parts of it. It's wide but not so tall. As you arrive up into an open cavern. It's got a big crack in the top of it that goes up towards um, a shaft of light coming from an even further crack above that. And above all that is just greenery from all the water that's come down from above mm -hmm. and filled it. It's actually quite a pleasant view up there. Mm. Down here, how do we best describe the chamber in which you find yourself? You could start with throne room. Yep. That at least discusses that part of it. Now, the throne itself is somewhat of a ramshackle mixture of bones, skulls, hands, shriveled bits, all manner of stuff to show I have taken stuff from other people. See? 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 Smells beautiful. I can imagine. There's that. <laughs> Made a bit of bone as well. Oh, some of those bones are very big. Perhaps he killed it. At least that's the hint. You think it's far more likely that whatever it was was dragged from somewhere else and then decorations were put all over it and someone's like, yes, that will do. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but, but it might not be the case. That part over there is more akin to, let's use the word sorcerer's laboratory. That at least starts us off. Splatter that with green. A mixture of splatter, spatter and glow. There is the expected bubble, 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 bubble. There is, what, is that a portal? I mean, that's a nice word. It's definitely a swirling green maelstrom. Maybe it's a disposable place. You're not sure you want to go through that. That looks terrible. Yes. <clears throat> Over there, let's call that part the specimens. Okay. The specimens are a mixture of various, mostly skaven, but a few humans too, that are in various states of mutation. Oh. There's a desk bound round in brass on all sides, made of wood, it's warped, and it's piled high on one side with warp tokens, warp stone pressed with runes to render it le relatively inert. And on the other side, you think that's refined warp stone. Pretty sure it is. Refined warp stone. Bad memories comes in that one. Mm. Let's not think about that. No. <clears throat> that, all of that, is what most people would look at last. But you went first because you almost expected this bit. <laughs> the enormous rat ogre with three arms. Enormous spike on one shoulder. Mm. Looming right over a hideous scar down this side of its face. Oh, let's just not start counting scars. 
It's got a lot of them. And the stench is nigh on unbearable. This close to it. It's difficult to hold yourself, mm. even for someone who's been down here. First actual honest to goodness endurance test. Okay. Because oh. that is not yeah. good. Uh, I'm like, do I have an advantage? No. Plus, I don't normally. Have plus yeah. Normally, but no. Uh, it's hard to not recoil from this horror. No. Uh, 66. That's a natural well, fumble. Did you say 66? Yeah. Because that's a fumble. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll use my last fortune point. Oh. It's a fumble. <laughs> at 68, so that's even better. Yeah. No, that's but, better, but... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, at least you're not fumbling. <laughs> yes. As uh, you shy, can't help yourself. Oh. The stench is almost oh. unbearable. As um, that's enough for it to catch the attention of the creature. You moved away from it and you know what that means. Oh. It immediately senses you as prey. Immediately. Freeze. <laughs> you know that's what it means, but you can't. Your body's almost mm. taken over. Yeah. Um, as a, a, a mailed fist, all claw and broken bits of bone rises. Stop it! Comes the voice from behind the table. We're I the try not to here. breathe a sigh of relief, but I'm. <laughs> and his coiled horns. Mm looks down at you and raises himself up to almost his full height and I... which is still well below yours <laughs> do i prostrate myself as flat as you can go yeah and this this is a move that is practiced and graceful and she's full length flat down yeah as um White it hair looks down spread. and looks up at the rat ogre A slight green light flickers across his claw. Back, back. It stops. Collar lights up green slightly. Yes, yes. Thank you, his master. Yes. Looks down at you. Yes. Yes. <sighs> News, news, news. What news? I've seen them, my lord. Yes. Seen, seen. Two. What? Two of them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they have their mind quick, yes? He's speaking in Reichspiel. He doesn't want anyone else to know what he's saying. One of them is the other was dead when I saw him. Can't speak to but him. mind, yes, 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 yes. What is he doing? Why is he doing this? What do we need to consider? Yes, what is he doing? He would not squeak talk. He would not. So you must make him squeak talk with your facts. Yes, with what you know. Who is this? Who name now? Name name. The heart of House Jungfreud. Yes! Gobby! Ah! Oh, Gobby of Youngbloods! Yes! Gobby the Youngblood! Yes! We will find Seek It! Yes! Yes! He stalks over. Yes! Yes! Um, opens up. What you presume is, let's call it a grimoire. It glows green! Um, as he looks inside it, flicks around. Gah! Gah! Garby! Garby! Gabby! Gerhardt. Yes, yes. And somewhere, an Ed is going, No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! Sorry, Ed. <laughs> I had my orders. Orders are orders. Yes. Mm. It comes over, puts its claw on your head and strokes. Reward, pet slave. Yes. Yes. Looks up. Claws go green. Bone ripper. The huge rauger backs out. Not eat, devour, you know. No. Save, save, save. 
Fan qual is kind, master. Too kind. He says as he <gasps> makes his way up. Kind. Beneficent. He says he makes his way up. Marvelous. All powerful. He reaches out a claw. Warp tokens. And throws some at you. <laughs> I will. Yay. And then more. looks at you. Snob. Cease. No. Bring back warp tokens. He reaches out another hand and scoops up some refined warp stone, drops it on the table. Yes. Are you picking up the warp tokens he pointed to? Well, he wanted me to bring them back, yeah, didn't yeah. he? So, yes, I'm not going to not As he do what he wants. You. Yes. I will gather them <laughs> yes. and present them to him. Good, good slave, good, yes, yes, he says. <clears throat> yes. Lick it. Is, do I know what he's referring to? Oh, you know exactly what he's referring uh -huh. to. No warp stone. Here we go again. <clears throat> yes, as his eyes go wide. I make it. If that's what he wants me to do. <sighs> Sweat beats in your forehead. Mm. It's not even warm in here. <laughs> Clearly, somebody squeaked. Clearly, someone talked. You do what you're told. Probably my previous master. Perhaps he was squeaking more than was hinted. Endurance test first. Uh, oh, I'm just shy. Oh, excellent. You get to be sick. Okay. Unless, of course, you wish to take a corruption point, which, let's be honest, would be appropriate <laughs> at this particular point. <laughs> Given report. what I'm doing. <laughs> Given yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> Can I use that to reduce my roll by one? Um, or you could use it to... No, it's a re-roll for re this. Yeah, that's it's fine. a re-roll. Okay. Uh, no, that's a lot worse, actually. <laughs> 97. I am having... No! <sighs> As you're sick. All over the place. Mm. And it's it's not the first time you've done this. Yeah. It's, it's embarrassing. I apologise profusely. Um, <laughs> as, as the warp stone is wasted, doesn't look upset, just seems to be watching, calculating, yeah. little claws clacking against each other. Yes. Yes. Truth. Truth, my truth. Looks at you. Picks you up by the chin. Opens your mouth, looks inside, checks your feels around here. Mm, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! Okay. He goes off and he stalks backwards and forwards as his brain is clearly trying to figure out exactly what this means and how he's going to use it and what extraordinary things he will be able to bring to bear. What does this mean? Yes, 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 yes. And he's, he's almost caught in a loop. And then he looks at you. Go wait, go wait, go wait! I go and wait. <laughs> Scare down that corner, keep down low, yeah. at the very bottom. Angry, black, skaven, white skaven. Up there, the cackling begins. He tries to keep it quiet <laughs> as much as he can. He doesn't do a frightfully good job. I was really hoping he wouldn't find that out. It looks like he has. Damn it. The cackling, the cackling, and the cackling. <clears throat> there is little else you can do except wait. The big black skaven 
just looking at you and does not stop until it's eventually broken by a scaven slave who peeks head round and says Egracia will see see no one and runs oh god <laughs> 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 Go quick! And he marches off. Yeah, all of them hiss at you as they go back. I, yeah. I will carry yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Jeez. My nerves are in tatters by this point. <clears throat> you're not sure how long you're left down there, but you are given some really mouldy bread to eat. Nice. Black mould at that. Wonderful. I've had worse. <laughs> you have. There's a part of you that um, can't help but almost eh, compare it to previous mouldy breads that you've had. Rated out of five. Five star? No. It's a three star mouldy bread. Prefer you've had better. The, prefer the blue, to be honest. Quite. <laughs> Your guard gets really fidgety and eventually falls asleep. Very foolish. Very foolish. There's a part of you that almost feels like you should just stab him on, you know. Principle. Principle, exactly. But <clears throat> you're equally aware that he might not actually be asleep. He might be sort of half dozing. Mm. You know, just waiting for someone to make a move so he's got a justification to lash out. Never can be certain. Tempted to cut his tail off, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to take his own weapon, so... <clears throat> Skaven slave comes down, looks at you. Meat tongue, meat tongue, meat tongue, show meat tongue. I show him my tongue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> arms up, arms up, arms up. Arms, arms, arms. <laughs> and then runs off. You've been through this. Yeah. Again and again and again. They're waiting to see if there's been any reaction. They are. And you know what the next result is. They're either, because you've been through this before, yeah. going to come yeah. to the conclusion that you're blessed. Because the hair. <clears throat> the hair really helps. Mm -hmm. Or. They're going to breed you. Yeah. They're going to take samples. Last time, last time, they concluded you were blessed. That's what I'm hoping for this time. <laughs> there is some delay. As this Gracier attempts to decide what you mean. A thrum of prickles passes through your body. And green light suddenly flashes down from above. Augury, maybe. And another thrum. And another thrum. Danqua will reign supreme! Comes the echoing voice. Yes! I have no idea if that's good or not. I'm hoping it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell? I've given up being hopeful around these guys. Yes. Yeah. and Slave comes down. You've no idea how long later. And says, Legal. How do I get out? Turns around. <laughs> Master says you must leave go. Maddening surface, leave go. As a white one gets up and says, I serve the Grey Seers, yes, and the council, yes, of course, I serve, serve, serve loyal, loyal. Come quick. I follow him. 
<clears throat> there is no point going into the long detail <laughs> of you going back in all of that direction mm. that you just came down. You have no idea how long you've been down here. But what is certain is that you've given out a fact you didn't want to give. That something has happened that has made it very pleased. And that it has apparently ensconced itself beneath Altor for whatever reason. Mm. This doesn't look like a temporary setup. There was a laboratory. There was things, specimens, yeah. all sorts of stuff that suggests a certain amount of time. Because when I saw him in Del Bran, that was more of a makeshift. Del Bur, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's I always classic. get the two confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I play Warhammer. I get confused. Um, yeah, that was that was a lot more makeshift, wasn't it? This uh, it wasn't more just like, that. It was on yeah. the road, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. Um, you were yanked, makeshift, <laughs> sent Booted off to do something. Yeah, in. quite. Yeah. Um, at that point, you were just mm. uh, a slave that it could order around. Mm. Um, but now it's clearly learned more, mm. and it seems very happy with what it's learned. I don't know what my orders are now. No, you don't. I'm sure they'll get in touch. Oh, they will. Back up at the surface. Mm -hmm. Spectacles. Is there. Looks over. Looks at you. Shocked. <laughs> Live free. Live free. How? 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 Tell. Tell secrets, life. Yes, tell secrets. How? Live breathe. That's for me to know. I have your orders. Do you want orders? Yes? I think you should give them to me. Yes. Oh. I grab him. I'm going to him back out to him. <laughs> do yourself a heel test, of all things. A well, heel test? Yeah, okay. to make sure that you can do the correct thing to stop him from getting it down. Zero three. That's Zero enough. Successes. Okay, you can yeah. get it in. Now do yourself the strength test. Okay. So I'm just testing it out. No, I'm going to do it on melee. Melee? Yeah. Okay, brawl or, or basic? Uh, That'll be brawl. Okay. Ooh, just uh, six successes. Oh, so not just. Well, just for me. Um, nice. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, pull, pull. In his throat. There it is. Off, off, manning off, manning off, manning, manning off. <laughs> yep, you've got it. It's a piece of fur. And there are quickish instructions. Oh, damn it. You almost wish you didn't have any. Reporting at your next town. Pretty clear, reporting at the next town. Okay. That's it. Talk. <clears throat> Go. Hey, kid. <laughs> go, go. Give me a close. No, go, go. I can't go out there naked. I'll draw attention and I'll tell him exactly where I've just come from. Give me your clothes. He gives you all of his clothes. Excellent. <laughs> that's all he has. Well, that is as a start. <laughs> uh, was there any curtains? Uh, no, not Blankets. in here, on this side, but possibly on the other, in the, yeah. where the stinky, smelly humans were. Yeah, yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah. Intimidate test. <sighs> Oh, the fact that you're coming out will make this a really simple test. You uh, reverse fails in this one. So, yeah, so that would be um, two successes. So yeah, you can reverse yeah, that, fails. That, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> um, uh, they are not difficult to intimidate. They are not. They are used to being intimidated by all sorts of horrors. And you leave in your patchwork of really smelly bits of clothing. But you're not dead. Bright side. You're not dead. <laughs> You've been very sick. Your stomach feels really off. And as you leave, you're sick again. To be fair, I was quite hungover before I went in, so, it's fair. you know. <laughs> not the first time, won't be the last, probably. Hate the taste of Wolfstone. What is that thing's plan? Apparently, it's going to allow it to reign supreme. But you've heard that sort of talk before. And the last one that said that sort of talk in your vicinity ended up caged on the receiving end of torture from that one. Who knows what will happen next? The cycle of life. And you caught up in the middle of it. You are, a few scratches, surprisingly unscathed. Mm -hmm. Your feet are a bit of a mess. They're going to need cleaned. I can live with that, though. 
that it could be worse. So what's her plan? It is, as you go out, oh, it's dark, so it's night time. Not much is certain. Uh, well, I'll, I'll get away from the, the this district. Um, I, I would go back to the... Um, the panther house because there was some because <laughs> i know i'll get fed i'll i know um i'll get a drink god knows i could do with a uh, a stiff yeah yeah 12 or so but i'm not exactly dressed for it no you're not um, well, that'd be a choice if you want to go there you are trapped on a place you don't know at least you know where that is yeah. assuming you pass a navigation test oh well i'll give it a go Give it a go. <laughs> Let's see if she can make her way back to the old house, I did, do, I did do a lot of loops. Yes, you so, did. So I familiarised <laughs> yeah, myself. You familiarise yourself yeah. a bit. Two successes. That'll do. Um, I'm finally at the hang of this what's place. What's more likely <laughs> is you might get stopped along the mm. way, although you're really in a mess. It's unlikely anyone's going to care as long as you're not stopping. Yes. Um, and as long as you keep out the main area mm. where the temples are. And then, I'm used to, to passing the uh, below notice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't you have, don't have it, so no. notice. Yeah, no, I'm going to roll a dice yeah. of doom just to see if we do okay. get anything random, but I'm only going to do one. You can do it, actually. Okay. So that means you get to know how well Four. it goes. Oh, you're fine. Um, so nothing to worry about, no one to worry. I mean, you you know how to avoid the worst that the city. I'm great has to at offer. scuffling when I need um, to. And mm. eventually, there's a pair of guards, and one of them is the same from mm. last night. So they'll recognise you, although your clothes do look mm. much worse. What's the plan? I will. Um, have I heard any bells since I emerged? Oh, uh, absolutely. <coughs> um, it will be uh, about. Let's see. You were there. There. Give me the timing. Um, you're looking at around about one-ish. So I was told to come back at two. Two-ish, yeah. Two-ish. A bit early. I'm a bit early. It might be all right. I can maybe prevail upon them for, to let me get cleaned up a little bit. If you wish to do so. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. One of them looks at you. Go on, piss off. And then looks at you. Wait a minute, do I know you? Yeah, I was well, here I yesterday. What, what heartened are you? I got mugged. You stink. Yeah, I know. That is all I could find to cover myself up. They took everything. That ain't my problem. I was wondering if I could prevail upon you to at least allow me to have a wash. Yeah, no. Special. We're not a bath ass. No. Sorry, love. No, no, I can do. I will. Um, I will use the, um, ah. <laughs> the password I was given, the code I was given, which I've written down. And just need to Excuse me while I reference my memory. <laughs> yes. um, where's it gone? Yeah. Um, I was told to ask for the sergeant with the black eye. I'm a bit early, but I think I should get cleaned You're fucking up. Fucking kidding me! That's what the guy said. The other one said, "What really?" Now you see why I need to get cleaned up. I can't go in front of him looking like this. All I need is a shirt and some britches. Um, you, you don't get cleaned up. You get taken through to a sergeant with quite literally a black eye. Huh. huh. You didn't expect it to be literal. No. No, I was thinking, <laughs> you're, oh, you're, this you're evening a, is weird. A little bit taken <laughs> aback. Um, it's not a bruised black eye. Oh. It's a tattoo. Oh. Of a comet that comes out of either oh. side there. He looks at you and he goes, Who the fuck is this little lady? What, what is this, Sergeant? Oh, I don't know. She, 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 she knew the words. <laughs> oh, you stink, girl. In other news, water is wet and the sky is blue. Yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Midden, Sorry. Land, I'm way from Midden Northern high. Middenheim. What are you doing here? And who are you? And why, why are you coming to me? Well... It's a long story, but I spent quite a bit of time last night with the Lord here. Oh, that and was I'm, you. And they asked me to come. Your back hair's white. Keep, yeah, to keep him company. I would never have guessed. It looks sort of brown. Well, I do spend a lot of time in tunnels. I really need a bath before I see him. If you're you going to go about. see him, well, that's that's up to you, I guess. Well, there you go. You're filthy. I know, that's why I need to have a wash and maybe borrow some clothes temporarily. I don't want to dirty up his... Um... I, don't, I didn't even notice any you. I mean, you had to come here looking pretty. That's what that's what's supposed got, to happen. Got, this isn't pretty, this is stinky. I got more. This is proper stinky. I can go in naked if you like, it's not a big deal. You'd probably like that. He's somewhat of a voyeur. I got that impression. Nice enough, though. 
You think? Yeah, seemed like a really nice, nice man. Well, that alone, I suppose. He says, um, it's going to be cold, I'm sorry to say. Um, he presses a button that says quite clearly on it, press. <laughs> the liveried gentleman comes out and says, yes, sir. He says, go wash this girl down. <laughs> uh, looks you up and down. Right. Yes, and put her in, I don't know, a Anything towel. This. <laughs> a towel. That will do. Whenever she dries herself. Um, um, right, um, and um, my ass, why? Because I told you to. Now, off you go. Bring her here afterwards and we'll have a look at what we've got and see if this is worth a while. You better scrub up. Turns out you do. I really do. <laughs> you really do. I look like a temple statue come to life <laughs> clean. As uh, he leans down looking at you. Bloody hells. Twill my hair. <laughs> so who did you in? And do I need to send the boys round? Because that is a curse against the gods. How could you? This is beautiful. Altdorf has not been kind to me, except for this place, which has been very hospitable. Hmm. That's because we're rich. That would explain we're it. We're really, really rich. And we know how to look after people who know how to look after other people. He says, yes, yes, I think you, you fit the bill. Right. Take her through to the master. Really? Yes, yes, yes. He is bored and drunk. Sitting down with his hand running along the edge of his scar as he sees you come in. As he goes... Would you suck off to get in here twice? I just said that we'd had a good conversation and I was keen to continue it. Well. Hmm. And she, she's not talking in a Middenheim accent now. Yeah, yeah, she's, I heard. She's, yeah. <laughs> I heard. She's flexing. <laughs> All right, he says. Scarlet Empress, but strip Scarlet Empress. I'm only wearing a towel. I know. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you spend some eight hours laughing, drinking, joshing. He has tales of ah. things that he has seen. He um, has been all the way around Araby. He's gone ah. all the way down to the Eye of the Panther, a great mountain mm -hmm. that is of apparently some importance to the Knight's Panther. Funny that. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Um, it was almost a pilgrimage for him, and he encountered all manner of things. He apparently even saw somebody riding a carpet through the sky. No. Well, so he claims. Oh, uh, it's pulling my leg. Yeah. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <clears throat> he has been all the way up around Midland, around Nordland, toward most of the empire. He's been down south and he kind of doesn't stop. Once he starts, he kind of keeps on going. He's clearly bored and lonely and no one really puts up with him. He's also a bit dirty. He just is. <laughs> um, and that scares away most folk. But Birdie appears to literally not care. But then, now that we know where she comes from, that's perhaps not a surprise. Yeah. He is a breath of fresh air. And just the distraction I need is to Quite. just chill out and gather my thoughts. <clears throat> Eventually, he passes out, you pass out, and he sends you back to wherever you want to go in a Knight's Panther coach. It is, perhaps extraordinarily, more expensive than the Emperor's. Wow. And it looks it. I will ask his name before he leaves, because I haven't, we haven't really been formally nope. introduced. <clears throat> no, my name's Rickard. And this is going to sound ridiculous, but Rickett, Rickett Goelma. Does that mean anything? Literally to you? nothing. Oh, it's a nice name. <clears throat> Although you were at Goelner Hill not that long ago, where the zoo was, and where oh, yeah. that was on Goelner Hill. I wonder if huh. there's a connection. No, well, maybe next time you see him, if you ever happen to be in Altdorf. <clears throat> sure. The coach is really fine. Pulled by four steeds with almost, they're golden. 
You, you, you look at your move and they, they shimmer in the light. me in a towel with a stick. Your, your, just, just a towel now. Your stick's long gone. Oh, well, well, <laughs> Quite, you've ball. lost your right, stick. But, yeah, just but a you've towel. got a towel. Is it a nice towel? But, oh, yeah, and it's also marked with the monogram of the Knight's Panther. <gasps> Score! <laughs> so you've got yourself a beautiful Knight's Panther towel. <laughs> Deep blue, yellow, gold, simple. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice a- towel. Any money? Uh, no, not this time. Oh, he'll give you some money at the door, though. They will. Because um, they took all my... Like, no, no, one. they'll give you money. No, they will. <laughs> and, and, and that, that was a bit flippant of me. Um, yes, they'll pay, and they'll pay two gold. Nice. Yeah. Um, you, you did your job well. I did. As... Because um, all this is gone. <clears throat> I'm quite. guessing with, with all my... Uh, yeah, Words. so... Yeah. Whew. Knight's Panther, Coach Home, Golden Steeds, and it's sort of shimmering the light. And and you pad out of that to go clamber over all those barges. Just in a towel. In, in a towel. <laughs> as everyone gathers round to see that. They're expecting some incredibly impressive knight to make their way out. And they get you in a towel. To be fair, I am carrying it off beautifully. You are carrying I, it I off beautifully. I hold myself. Could we swing by um, Blessed Albert's to pick up my stuff? Oh, yes, you absolutely yeah, could. on the way yeah, past. Because yeah, they'll know where it is. I won't be able yeah, to Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. So you can get all your equipment back. Yeah. So, so I have a bundle under one arm and I'm wearing a beautiful <laughs> towel. towel. And my yeah. all down. But I am clean. You are. And I'm alive. Yes. I'm going to call that a win. Yes. Now, you might not know this, but before we filmed this session, I said, be aware, it's obviously going to be horrible, um, but be aware that you're the only one who's really likely to possibly lose fate points. And I did use that plurally. Um, it didn't happen. I was braced. I was you ready were. to use them. You said I used the right all, things. all my fortune points. I gained uh, two extra corruption. Here is the downside, though. Mm. This session is also next session. So you have no fortune points for the next session. But no fate points spent. So lovely. Yeah, quite. Um, and that is it for what appears to be Skaven Spy. Skaven Slave. Slave Spy. That's it. Skaven <clears throat> Slave Spy Birdie. <laughs>